Okay. I'm making a video just to catch you up on what's going on. It's so frustrating. I don't even know where to begin. I think I'll start with the school because that's really what's on my mind right now. I started Walden University in September and I took a full-time load which was a huge mistake because I have this two million dollar discrimination lawsuit that I'm working on because my attorneys quit on me so I have to be a pro se attorney law attorney all by myself which has been a living nightmare so I'm sign up for Walden studying for my PhD in psychology philosophy and I take these two classes and this professor's just got it in for me she's just every time I come in the portal she's behind me leaving comments it was really frustrating and I knew she had it in for me because a couple of times like you know pretty much just took her on and um, checked her put her in her place and she didn't like it at all and so she decided to put me in my place I guess and flunk me and it's amazing because I got an A in one class and an F in one and I admit I turned in two assignments a little late because they were actually on time or maybe one was really late and one was late uh, one was really late and one was on time but they have this thing where you have to turn it into the tutorium and I put it to the wrong place and so I guess she docked me and somehow I ended up with an F and I turned in a final paper that was 21 pages and it was only required to be 15 but yet I got an F so I don't know what it was I think it was just some kind of disability discrimination um, but it basically messed me up and messed up my financial aid and lowered my GPA which you're supposed to have a GPA over three something and so the next quarter I took one class and then you know during this whole time I had a dislocated knee and um, going through depression and went to the doctor and um you know have some notes so i sent them in to walden to you know pill my financial aid and they denied it they couldn't even find my letters and i just sent another letter and it's you know the quarter started over seven weeks ago i still haven't got my financial aid so it basically set me back uh to devastation i mean these schools basically they ruin your life um, these professors, they, you know, pick and choose who they want to tear down. I think the woman actually must have got a bonus for it. Because I have never in my whole academic career ever received an F. So I was devastated. You know, I'm an A, B student. And this woman just shoots me down. I think what it is is they want to take down minorities who are trying to get PhDs. People with disabilities, people in lower classes. Um, it's just a target of retaliation and harassment from universities. So that's just kind of let you know where I'm at with Walden. I would never recommend going there. It's a living hell. I've never had so much trouble with the school. I worked at University of Washington. I worked at City University. Um, I worked at... Pierce College. I even volunteered at Evergreen State College. Never have I came across a school who treats students the way Waldman does. I um I'm just totally disappointed in the school and as soon as I could find a way to get out of there I wanted to, but I you know, they just flunked me. So I'm pretty much stuck now. My whole future is in limbo. Um, 
I probably won't be able to get my PhD because if I don't have any financial aid funding, then that dream is gone. So, you know, Walden basically steals your dreams. They steal your financial aid from you. They find a way to take it away. And then they take your dreams away so you can never accomplish your goals there. I bet if you ran statistics on their graduation rates, you would be surprised. Um, there's their whole administration, the staff, the faculty, it's all set up against students. I have had to fight for everything. Every time I even get my financial aid, I had to fight for it. They made me wait four weeks past the quarter just to get it. So, I mean, the school is just, I don't even, I guess maybe because it's online, a lot of people sign up or whatever. But once you get in there, you find out the real deal. So moving on to my financial, um, my race discrimination, disability discrimination lawsuit against DOL and DSHS. Well, that's still going on. I'm supposed to have court date on the 15th of May, which I still can't find an attorney. So I have to be my own attorney, which is a living nightmare. Okay, and these people are barracudas vultures and wolves they tear down people with disabilities with no shame okay they um they pick people with disabilities uh the quickest to take down because they know we can't fight they know no one's going to represent us they know attorneys aren't really interested in our cases uh it's i can't even begin to let you know what a a nightmare this has been for me and I wouldn't want even my worst enemy to have to go through this um, I just I'm sick I'm sick from the whole thing I'm s they're slowly killing me though they'll, they'll basically kill you it's been dragging on since 08 and this is 2012 and they refuse to settle no matter how much evidence I give them, I got letters from HR, you know, telling me to get notes from my doctor for duress. I mean, just even admitting that I'm under duress from work and um, mocking me and, um, you know, writing dummy on my leaf slips, you know, um, my own supervisor did. I got um, denied for social worker positions, even with a Bachelor of uh, Liberal Arts degree. Uh, and other people were hired with the same agree with less experience and you know just things sabotaging me you know getting promotions other opportunities even in other state agencies I mean I could just go on and on of me just reporting discrimination and harassment within the agency and nothing ever being done about it no investigation you know nothing and they get to get they get to get away with all of this and it's nothing's happening they're you know they they can do they have a license basically department of licensing and dshs has a license to get away with anything and nobody's doing anything no one cares i can't get on the news i can't um get interviewed no one you know will put it in the newspaper nothing okay it's just like um you basically lose your identity. They basically uh, slowly kill you through the system with um, debt. They um, bury you alive so that you can't get another job. You're stuck with medical debt because they cut you off and then you can't pay. Um, then you can't go to the doctor because your doctor won't take you anymore because you can't pay your medical bills. I um, mean, they just, they put you basically in a time warp and you just basically hang there and die slowly. And no one cares. Nothing's being done about it. So, <clears throat> that's basically my life. You know, trying to take care of my mom with dementia. And I'm a single parent. Just trying to make it. Um, it's just, I live in hell. I know that in the Roman times, you know, they went against the Christians and they crucified and persecuted them and you know i know that this has a lot to do with because i'm a christian because i stand up 
for God because I fight for justice. I fight against discrimination. I fight for people with disabilities. So this is what happens to you. <clears throat> you get buried. You lose your identity. You become um, extinct. You are basically removed from the system. Uh, you don't. You're blacklisted, and you you just slowly die and nothing's going to happen to them they're going to get away with it just like with the secret service you know with their culture um a hostile work environments and they you know intimidate these prostitutes and take their money won't even pay them and you know i mean they go around you know having parties and and just you know having orgies and all kinds of things going on within the government Nothing's being done about it, okay? No one's going to stand up to the government. No one's going to defend women because they're afraid. So, you know, just like when I worked at OFM and they wanted me to become a sex slave um, escort for the legislature and I refused and and they may, you know, they harassed me and retaliated against me even in my evaluation I had in there how my supervisor was harassing me trying to force me to uh, spend time with her outside of work how it was inappropriate what was going on and it was even in my evaluation and not even if an investigation was conducted okay and the thing that really made me mad is because when I had my deposition the attorney general um, what's his name, Cohen or whatever, he was, you know, talking to me and saying, bringing up OFM and saying that I missed a lot of work and trying to use that against me, knowing that I was being domestically violenced by my ex-boyfriend, or which was my current boyfriend. He was calling and harassing me at work, threatening me. And I had to get my, my boss involved and my job and they tapped my wife my phone at work the state patrol and I had to go and get a restraining order and I was under you know abuse and not only at work but by my the person that I was with which I think they paid him to do that to me because he tried to kill me which is a whole nother story I'll tell you about one day <clears throat> but the, you know, the thing of it is, is that they had the nerve to use that against me in my evaluation for missing time when they knew why I missed work. And, and this is how they use stuff and they manipulate situations and use it against you. That's how the government is, okay? They're sick, bunch of psychopaths, okay? And they get away with murder. They get away with torture they can do whatever they want and I would advise any woman never work for the government unless you like to be tortured and you want to become a sex slave and an escort so because they will take a liking to you they will have one of the women madams approach you and she'll make it sound real inviting she'll tell you hey Look, you can have a mansion, and you'll live a lavish lifestyle, and, and you'll get a lot of money. And, and they'll try to trick you into it. But believe me, don't take it. And if you do, you will go to hell, because you'll lose your soul. Because that's what they're, the bottom line is, that's what they wanted, is to take my soul from me. Okay? But I left, and I ran, and I got away from them. And I tried to move on to other agency and another place thinking that every, everything would be alright, but it wasn't. So anyways, I don't even want to get into that. Okay, I'm just going to cut it short. i got to go out to my daughter. Okay, thanks.